It seems everyone has neck pain these days. We're sitting for such extended periods of time looking down at our computers and our phones, our laptops, or our tablets, and our necks are not having it. So today we're going to do some self-massage to alleviate the aches and pains in the neck and see if we can improve our posture and get a little more relaxation, a release of tension through the upper body. So first, I just want you to start by checking in with your neck, seeing how it's feeling, how it's moving. Go ahead and sit up tall, drop the chin towards the chest, and feel a stretch in the back of the neck. Notice if you feel anything uncomfortable or achy. And of course, if it's painful, don't go so far into the stretch. You don't want any pain. And after you've noted that, bring the neck up and then start to bring one ear towards your shoulder. Make sure that the opposite shoulder doesn't come up. You can hold on to the bottom of your chair or sit on your hand. That's a good way to ensure that that shoulder stays down and doesn't come along for the ride. Again, just notice how it's feeling. Tight, achy. Of course, if there's any pain, come on out. See how far you can go, to sort of remember that. And then slowly, slowly, always coming out of a stretch, slowly come on back up and we'll do the other side. So make sure that the opposite shoulder is down. You can sit on your hand, you could hold on to your chair and just notice, notice which side is easier or has more range of motion or which one is more achy or less achy, where you feel it, and then slowly come on back up and we'll do one more movement to each side. We'll do rotation. So go ahead and look over one shoulder. Notice how it feels and notice how far you can go. So maybe see where your eyes are and make a mental note. And then slowly turning back and we'll go over the other shoulder and of course, compare it. Are you going farther or not as far? Does it feel easy, difficult, achy, tight? And just note that. So we'll start by just warming up the back of our necks with our fingers. So I'm just gonna make circles. Just nothing fancy. Just sort of exploring all around, seeing where it might feel tender, seeing where it might need a little more love. You can bring it all the way down. You can go as fast or as slow. You can just hold and see how that feels. And breathe. You can take it out to the sides. Gentle pressure on the neck. You don't want to hurt yourself. And when that feels good and warmed up, take a soft fist till so you're just be using your knuckles here. And you're just going to go down alongside the spine. So your spine is right in the middle. You'll feel those bones sticking out. You're gonna go right to the side of it so that you're not on the bony prominences and just sort of hook the tissue in there. And then you're letting gravity relax your arm down. And you might notice that the tissue begins to release and your hand begins to move down towards your shoulder. And that's great. And if not, that's totally fine too. Just hold it and let it release. So, so you're just breathing. You can turn your head a little bit if that helps you access that area better. Hmm. 
Should feel nice. Bring it all the way down to the shoulder. Don't leave it out. And then come on to the side. You're not going to go directly on the side because again, we have bony prominences, the transverse processes of the vertebrae. So we're going to go just behind it. So if you went right on the side, you're just going a tiny bit behind. And you'll know because if you feel like you're sticking into something or something's really uncomfortable, you know you need to just move back about a centimeter. And again, hook the tissue right at the top, right at the base of the skull, and begin to allow gravity to just take your knuckles as the tissue releases, the fascia, the muscles, and breathe. Breathing helps a lot. You'd be surprised. So if you take a deep breath, and then let out a nice long exhale. You might feel a really lovely release. And again, taking it all the way down to the shoulder. That's great. Shake out that arm if it got tired. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Soft fist, spine right in the middle, go just to the side, hook the tissue, and allow your arm to rest. So you wanna to try to have as little tension in there as possible. You really want it to be as relaxed as possible. That's the trick to self massages, keeping the working arms and working hands relaxed while you massage another area. Because then you'll just need to massage your arms and hands <laughs> and you'll never do anything else. And breathing. Again, you can turn your head if it helps you access the area a little more. You might even play with turning your head a little bit while you're doing it, feel it stretch. And when you've got that all the way down to the shoulder, go ahead and go to the side. Those transverse processes, just a little bit behind them. Hook the tissue and get ready to release it down. Again, you can play with a little bit of active movement. It might be intense, so if that's too intense, just back off and remain still while you let it release. But if you want a little more intensity, a little more stretch, you can start playing with moving the neck around a little bit. And going all the way down. Remember to relax that working shoulder and breathe. Now we're going to get our SCMs or sternocleidomastoids. I know that's a mouthful, but it's this big muscle in the front. And these muscles tend to pull your chin forward, crunch the back of your neck and create a lot of problems, including headaches of many types. So we're going to get those. So if you bring your ear towards the same shoulder, so I'm rotating away and then bringing my ear down a little bit, you'll see or you'll feel the SCM. So you can take that muscle in between your fingers. Now go gentle here, we're working on the front of the neck. So be really delicate, really gentle. And take that muscle and you can just start pulling a little bit, rubbing the muscle between your fingers a little bit, just massaging it out just a little bit. And it might be tender, so go easy. If it's not too tender, you can grip it with a pretty good amount of pressure. Now remember, we're not pushing in at all. I'm just holding, I'm just holding the muscle. So if I wanna apply more pressure, I can just squeeze a little bit more between my fingers if that feels okay. Listen to your body, that's most important. So you can work your way down the length of the muscle, pulling, massaging, 
If you lose your grip on it, you can just go ahead back and do that same action and regrip it. Some are easier than others to access. That's okay. Ooh, this is sore. And it comes all the way down, but you don't have to go that far and it might be difficult to actually work the muscle down around here. So you can just end wherever it's natural for you and then go on to the other side. So seeing that muscle, gripping it right at the top, right behind the ear, and then holding on to that grip as you relax and begin to massage it down. Oh yeah, I think I've been neglecting my neck. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. As a massage therapist, that's not right. Good thing I'm doing this with you now. Yeah, definitely tender. And when you find a tender point, you can just hang out there if you like and just breathe into it apply a gentle pressure that feels good that feels like it's a nice release and when that feels good you can continue along the path of the muscle and when you're done with that you can go right on that bone behind the ear the mastoid process, it's right behind. That's where the SEM muscle attaches. So you can just give that some nice finger pressure. Again, gentle, gentle here. And I'm just doing circles, just circles. Massaging it out. And then begin to make those circles smaller and coming around towards the back of the head and find that spot right underneath the ridge of the skull, right under the bone, the soft tissue right below that. So here's my skull and here's the soft tissue below it. Here's my spine in the middle. And what I wanna do is go on either side of the spine right under the skull and press in and upwards. And I can lift my head or raise my chin up a little bit to access that a little better. And then just hold that. Now that might be pretty tender. Those are your suboccipital muscles and they can get very tight and tender. So go easy as always and just hold that and you can do some little head movements, maybe bringing it up, slowly, slowly down. It's gonna stretch, so go easy. Up and down a couple more. Hmm, so nice. Sometimes they refer all the way to the front of the forehead, at least for me. going to stay in the same area but change your hand position a little to be four fingers along parallel with the spine so we're still on either side of the vertebrae we're still in and up under the skull but now we're going to pull outward not pull hard but just sort of create a trajectory out to either side, spreading out the tissue behind the neck, getting it long and loosening it up. So that was right under the skull. Now we'll go to the next segment of the vertebra. So it just went down a little bit, just a little, either side. And again, we're going to pull outward. And while you do this, you may slowly bring your chin down 
and slowly up. Again, stop wherever you feel like something needs attention and just hold it and breathe. And we're going to continue just like that, moving on down. So now we're at C3. It doesn't have to be exact. Just move down a little. <laughs> Get your grip on the tissue and start spreading outward and letting the fascia take you. And you can, if you like, do a little active movement. Breathing, breathing, please don't forget to breathe. That's so important here. And the next segment, and again, you can even soften the tissue a little by lifting your chin to get a better grip on it if you'd like. And breathing, releasing, relax those arms. It's a lot to remember, right? Breathe, move, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Sit up straight. It's good for the brain. And moving down a segment again. And when you get low enough, you can even just let your arms dangle and let the weight of gravity take the tissue and spread in the back of the neck. Just moving up and down slowly. And maybe about the last one. You'll know you're at the end when you feel that big bump. That's C7 or sometimes T1 for people. It kind of sticks out a little bit in the spine. So it's your clue that your end, you're at the end of the neck. When you're all done, just let your arms fall to your sides. You can roll your shoulders a little bit. And we're going to repeat our movement at the beginning that we did and kind of check it again and compare, compare and contrast. So go ahead and drop your chin towards your chest. Notice how it feels. Notice if it's any easier than when you did it before. If there is any achiness, if it's less, if you're going farther than you did before, and then slowly come on up and exactly the same thing with ear to shoulder. What is that like? Are you going, oh, I'm definitely going farther than I did before. <laughs> and remember to keep that opposite shoulder down there and just breathe into that and notice that uh, feels really nice now, actually. It could go from feeling like annoying beforehand to a really lovely stretch after. <laughs> and bring it up and slowly, slowly to the other side. Remember in and out of stretches slowly and breathe and just let it hang. Grab that chair with the opposite hand or sit on the hand but keep that shoulder down and enjoy that lovely stretch. Breathe. Slowly, slowly coming on up. And we'll rotate, look over your shoulder. See if you can remember where your eyes landed last time and see if it's any different? Are you going farther than before? Does it feel better? Does it feel easier or looser? Slowly come out and give the other side a try. Well, this is all feeling a lot better on me <laughs> and I hope it is on you too. And come on back around. These are great techniques you can even use throughout the day on little work breaks just to alleviate the tension and stress that builds up in the neck and keep your neck healthy. 
if this worked for you. If you liked it, give me a like, comment below, let me know how it was and what you want to see, and definitely subscribe to my channel. I have a lot coming out. Hit the notifications bell too so you don't miss it. I can't wait to see you again.